keyboard shortcuts can make your Linux Mint experience faster and more efficient. In this video, I'm going to show you top five shortcuts that you need to know. All right, let's do that. First shortcut is very simple, how to open the menu. You might need to open the menu quite often, so it's good to know the quick shortcut. Of course, you can use your mouse to go to the menu, then go to the apps and try to find the app that you need, but it's much quicker to use shortcuts. Press Windows key to open the menu instantly. No need to use the mouse to find applications, just start typing the app name. Another very popular and handy shortcut is to switch between windows. This shortcut can be used 100 times a day if you run in different programs and would like to switch between different windows in just a split second. Let's find out what is the shortcut for it. For example, if I get this window open up here, the Firefox, I get this terminal open and I get this home open. And if I want to quickly switch between these apps, Use Alt plus Tab to quickly switch between open windows. Hold down Alt and tap Tab to cycle through your apps. And as you can see, it lets you choose between different apps that are currently open, just like on Windows. If you're working in an office or somewhere outside and you just step away from the computer, you want to make sure you lock out your computer so nobody can access your files, your system. Let's learn how to lock up your screen with a shortcut in just a split second. If you step away from your computer, press Ctrl plus Alt plus L to lock the screen instantly and keep your system secure. There we go, it's locked up like that, so you need to enter your password to log in. Of course, you can go through the menu and go to this lock screen. It doesn't take much time either, but pressing three keys would be a lot faster. Learn how to work faster and save time. Taking screenshots might be very handy and important if you want to capture something on the screen. Did you know there is actually a dedicated key for it? Let's find out. Press print screen key on the keyboard to capture the whole screen. Just like that. As you can see, it has captured the whole screen. You can just click save. Or if you want to choose a specific area, just hold shift and press print screen. And now as you can see, the mouse pointer has turned into X. So just press left mouse key and hold it and drag this rectangular over the area that you would like to take the screenshot of. Just like that. And then similarly, just press save. By the way, if you want to learn more how to take perfect screenshot in Linux Mint, if you want to know all the tricks, how to take partial screenshot or just the window screenshot, I have another video that you can check out. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check it out. It is very interesting and helpful, so make sure to check it out. But anyway, we're going to continue and we're going to go to the next, the fifth shortcut that we're going to learn today. And it is going to be about terminal. How often do you need to open the terminal? Well, actually, it may happen quite a bit. If you like to update or install new apps or do some other stuff, it is very helpful to know how to use terminal. Of course, there might be a learning curve to learn how to use it. But eventually, using Linux, you're going to learn how to do that. And if you want to save time to open the terminal, I'm going to show you the shortcut how you can open it up. All right, let's find it out. Press Ctrl L plus T to open the terminal. The shortcut is perfect for quick commands. Similarly, you can press this icon here. But of course, you know, pressing the Ctrl L T is a lot quicker. And as you can see, you can open multiple terminal windows. Well, this shortcut is just the beginning. Master them and you will work much more efficiently and quicker in Linux Mint. It will improve your workflow. But of course, there are many other shortcuts that might be helpful. So we're going to learn them eventually. If you want to learn more Linux Mint tips, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot more Linux Mint videos coming out soon. So make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you like this video and find it helpful, please support it with your like. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, drop them down in the comment section below. I would be happy to read your comments and help you if I can. And also, if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can use Super Thanks or check out the support links in the description. I appreciate it very much. Until next time, see you in the next video. Bye now.